Hey everybody, welcome back to Jaminia's Promo, and today we're going to talk about some massive updates that happened recently to Google Messages. So originally, I have been using the beta version of Messages. I've been a beta tester, I believe, since May, and all of these features that I'm going to show you today has been around, but now it's available and open to anybody and everybody who has the application. So if you already use Google Messages, go through, see if there's an update. If you don't have Google Messages, go inside, search for Google Messages. It's this little icon right here get this thing installed and give it a go. Now, Google Messages is my daily driver for any time I do text messages. I used to use Samsung Messages, but I just like some of these features a little bit better now. Now, once you go inside of a conversation, it's really easy to tell the difference if you're talking to somebody who has Google Messages and somebody who doesn't. First off, just to see if you have all of the chat features with that person, you can look right here. Very simply, once you go inside of a conversation, if it says chat message, that means that they are also also using Google Messages. So you have all the availability of all the chat features, which is a large video file size, large resolution. You have all of these reactions and so many different things. Now, if you are in a conversation with somebody who does not have it, it's gonna simply say text message right there in this little text box. So that just means that they're just doing the normal text messages, which means that you are limited with your text characters, how large of video files and photo files and documents you're able to send. But if anybody has chat messaging, you are good to go. Now, one of the first things you will notice when you are using uh, these chat features is that you're able to use these little reactions. You can do the reactions if you wanna, you know, on your own conversation. So if I am mad about something, I can put it right up over there. Uh, also too, if you tap on that little icon of the reaction, you can see who all reacted. So if you're within a conversation with multiple people and you see multiple different reactions, you wanna see who is saying what or how they're feeling, you're able to tap on that small icon. Now, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate tips and tricks and tutorials on your Samsung Galaxy device, make sure you hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now to give your own reaction to somebody, you wanna press and hold on the little conversation, the thing you wanna to react to, and then all of these will pop up. You have your thumbs up, the thumbs down, you have your, your heart eyes, you also have the laughing, smiling emoji, you have the woe, you have the I'm pissed, I'm crying, and then uh, I'm just mad. <laughs> so you have all of these ones right up over here. So I'm gonna press and hold on this icon, uh, and I'm gonna put in the heart eyes for this one right up over here. Now, the other nice thing that is brand new for a new feature other than reactions, so I'm gonna go right up over here, I'm gonna say thumbs up. Now, because he wrote to me, uh, it's my turn to reply. And even though this was 10 minutes ago, I have not replied yet. So there's a thing that is called smart reply. So if you wanna send something over here, I'm gonna do uh, not much you. So now I'm gonna send that over. You can see if it is sent, if it's delivered, and also if it's read. Now, if this person was to respond back to you, because this one is a chat service, uh, um, a chat messaging service, then you're able to see those little uh, three dots on the bottom left-hand side when they're responding to you. Again, a lot of chat services have that, and so now it's also built in for everybody to use and see inside of Google Messages. So if I was to move on back, just to make sure that you have your chat features turned on, when you do download that Google Messages, go inside of your settings, and then on the top right over here where it says chat features, just make sure you turn it on and get it connected. Then you can look at all these here if you wanna show the typing indicators, if you wanna show the read receipts, enable chat features. So that's some of those things that you do wanna do. You can connect this thing to Wi-Fi and have conversations. Uh, so right up over here, this is another thing you wanna turn on. We just got done talking about smart reply. If you notice that somebody responded to you and you don't see anything that is a smart reply, uh, just make sure you have this one turned on. The third new feature that you're able to do is you're able to send a photo, but also give a little bit of an edit to it. So you're not really able to edit too much. Let's just say that I wanted to do this one photo. You are able to send multiple photos at once in large video files. Uh, but again, this is something that is new. It's not really substantial, but you are able to tap on the photo. You can go to edit. You can either draw on the image. You can do it with like a paintbrush, a pen, or a highlighter, or you can type out some words. So I'm just gonna say right up over here, uh, I'm gonna say, big boy. Then you want to go through, you can change the color, and then when you're done, you hit on done. You can move this really anywhere it needs to go, and then you can go to attach. Now, it is going to show you two different images. Just get rid of that first one. This is that brand new image that you just basically edited, and then you're able to send this off, and you just say, you know, something like um, six months. 
and it's just actually super fun and cool. So this is that edited photo that you're just able to create just right now. Now, the next thing you're able to do is gonna be right there, that icon there. This is Google Duo. It's built into Google Messages. Again, Duo is a really good video service. This is what I use. Uh, and even if you have an iPhone, I always make sure that the iPhone users that I speak to has Google Duo. And then this is how we communicate. With a simple tap right there, you're able to go inside and do a video chat. Now, the very last feature that was added in is this one right here, this microphone that is a part of the regular chat. It's not inside of the keyboard. This one right here, you're able to press and hold and send a voice file. Sometimes it's way easier than going through and doing that voice to speech, which is this microphone right here on the keyboard. A lot of times maybe you are driving, you do have to respond, or maybe you're just busy somewhere else. It's way easier just to give a little voice memo back to that person. And it also does sound really good. So let's just say that we're doing this right here. Actually, I'm just shooting a video at the moment. Uh, I'll give you a call in just a second. And so once you get that one done, then you're able to hit on send. And then if you wanted to, you can listen to it. I'm going to play it right here just for you guys uh, to hear it. Actually, I'm just shooting a video at the moment. Uh, I'll give you a call in just a second. And so it makes things way easier so you don't have to do that little voice to chat or voice to text message. Also, you don't need to text or type things out. Uh, sometimes you just want to do a simple press and hold and then you're able to send it off and it makes it way easier. So those are all five brand new features inside of Google Messages. Honestly, uh, I have been using Google Messages. I kind of sometimes go back and forth with Samsung Messages, but not lately. I don't know the last time I opened up Samsung Messages unless if it's for a video of a tutorial here on this channel. But I hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later